Where is this uh, McCarran? Well, looking at the size of this thing, I'm guessing we're there. Ah, quite the mesmerizing sign. Welcome to New Vegas. I wouldn't want to look at that for too long. It gives you a headache, especially if you're a fiend. Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Remastered with Beretta. And not just Boone and Eddie, but a new companion, Veronica, that we ran into at the 188 rest stop. New Vegas is right there. We're currently at the Crimson Caravan compound outside the town. And we're looking for the big boss around here so we can uh, perhaps get a new ally. Because we don't feel very confident just marching into one of those big buildings, confronting the big boss, and getting out alive. Evening. I'm guessing you're not, Alice. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Good to know. Anything you could tell me about things around here? Maybe. What do you want to know? Well... First off, uh, what do you trade around here? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Now, so you get things from all over. Don't you have trouble bringing caravans such large distances? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. You don't sound from around here. A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. So you're a merchant now. Well... Need anything else? Maybe. Anything interesting for sale? Can do. Let's see. Let's just see about that. Plenty of cards for our collection. A radiation suit. We already have a space suit, so I think we'll be using that. Cowboy repeater long tube. Hmm, that's tempting. Plus four ammo capacity. We do use our repeater a lot these days. Hmm, that is a lot of caps, though. Laser rifle mods. and the modern refugee a primer a book that's something you don't see every day tiny tiny baby is all you need to know about pediatric medicine again well books uh, have been good to us and a varmint rifle silencer now that is interesting because we do not have a silenced weapon that is very interesting. In fact, we're going to take it. Oh, and as I said, that there's also a silenced pistol here. Hmm. Well, being able to snipe from distance, I think, will be more useful. Though. I think. And an old cowboy hat. Stylish, but not all that good. Armor-wise. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, so what can we interest you that we've got for sale? Maybe some of this. Got quite a lot of. Is 
some Nuka Cola crisps we don't eat. Salisbury steak we don't eat. Scrap electronics, why not? Cigarettes, I'm pretty sure you can sell those around here. Maybe... We do have plasma grenades. They're mighty powerful compared to... Yeah, let's sell one of these. A ranger hat. Where did we get one of those? Hmm, well... Okay, so what can we sell? Actually, yeah, let's... Get rid of more of these. I want to get you giving me caps. Up to you giving me caps instead of the opposite. What can we sell you? We do have a lot of stim packs that we don't use. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean all those. Yes, like that. All right. That's a deal. See ya. See you too. Now, where is this Lafferty, McLafferty gal? That's the main office. And this tower seems to be creaking its way into oblivion at some point. Guard barracks. I'm guessing that would not be it. Uh, it's practical that they label the doors at least. How about here? Caravaneer barracks. I don't think that's it either. Back there? No, that's boarded up, so... Has to be either barracks or caravaneer. Well, let's check the caravaneer barracks first. Now, who looks like the boss around here? These look like farm hands or caravan guards. You two look like caravanners. Yeah, evening. Sorry about that. Can't sleep with their backpacks on. Mr. Handy trusts? Trusts? Hmm. A Braxo. A Braxo cleaner. We've uh, seen our share of that. Huh. Magazine lying around. Well, she's not in this one, I don't think. I think we'd be able to recognize the big boss just by looking at, at them. So, hmm. Maybe the caravan barracks, the guard barracks. Evening. Well, you're wearing heavy duty armor, so I'm guessing you're not the boss. You're not the boss, you're not the boss. You, however, are in a fancy suit and shoes. Evening. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Well, what can you tell me about the Crimson Caravan Company? Certainly. What would you like to know? You certainly do seem well-dressed for this place, uh, just at first glance. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. 
However, the new Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Right, so you're dressed for the California Republic and not really the Mojave. I have heard, well, I've met caravanners all over the place and the gunrunners now up at the 188, so you do seem to have quite a lot of competition. Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market, and the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. I see. And, well, Rigo didn't mention it, but how long has there been a Crimson Caravan? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Okay, well... All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Maybe. Ringo is off to do something elsewhere. I just got to town, and I'm looking for help. So anything you could throw my way. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. A runner? What would that entail? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Dr. Hildern? Camp McCarran at the NCR headquarters. Will do, ma'am. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Good evening, Alice. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Well, she seemed fairly reasonable to me. Don't need to be all that stiff guarding the door. I mean, thank you, but a bit overkill. We are in a guarded compound, after all. Okay, fellas, well, looks like Ringo was right. And we have more that we can uh, extract from the Crimson Caravan in terms of rewards or money. So we have to go to deliver, I see. Okay, well, we have to go south. You see. Well, they're just hiding behind the lamppost? Not a very good hiding spot. Some sort of barbarian fiend. Interesting. I haven't seen these around elsewhere. They are carrying good weaponry, so I'm not complaining. That was a mighty right hook you've got there, Veronica. You weren't kidding about your punching abilities. New Vegas has, well, a great big wall. Nobody's getting through that easily, at least. Okay, well, we've learned we need to watch our backs around here. Ah, there's a gate around here. This would be... The East Gate to Freeside. Ah, the place, uh... The place they were mentioning there would be... The Mormon Fort. Dr. Usanagi mentioned the fort. For the followers of the Apocalypse. Okay, well, let's go around the perimeter outside. Got some sort of a protected facility. Gun runners. Ooh. 
I see some really impressive stuff. Hello, potential customer. Hello, potential salesperson. Robot thing. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Maybe. What is this place exactly? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. I see. Well, that's a nice sales pitch. I see some really impressive weapons uh, back there. Where do they come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. You make them. That's even more impressive. I don't see a door to your sales cabin. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Ah, so those are just display and I see. Well, you dispense them. Interesting. What do you have for sale then? I am ready to process our transaction. Wow, quite the stock. Let's just go through. Whoa, oh, they've got. They've got the good stuff. Look at this. What the hell is this thing? I want one. And that. And that. And most certainly that. And I'm sure Veronica would love this thing. That's way too expensive for us. As is ooh, this very good armor. Well, let's see. What do you have in the way of mods? You pretty much have every mod imaginable. But they're all very expensive. Now ah, we just got one of those earlier. And ammo types of all sorts. An impressive inventory, my friend, but too expensive for our pocket right now. Come back and see us again soon. If we ever strike it rich, count on it. In the meantime, we're still looking at whatever is in the garbage can. So we need to go around. Quite a big bomb hit here. Around these ruins, around the back side. Let's just keep an eye out for more of those fiend type characters. Okay, so around the wall. Some farmlands. I wasn't really expecting that around here. Sharecropper farms. And there's water. Ah, the tubes. Yes. Well, they they're irrigating farms. I'm guessing the big city does need big food supplies. So not unexpected though. We are getting a hungry. Where is this uh, McCarran? Well, looking at the size of this thing, I'm guessing we're there. Ah, quite the mesmerizing sign. Welcome to New Vegas. I wouldn't want to look at that for too long. It gives you a headache, especially if you're a fiend. More abandoned buildings. It goes really a long way along. Oh, I see a trade caravan. Should be safe around here. McCarran Airfield. Well, this is it. 
Nick Lafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hello there. Well, I see, uh... Hey. You've got a... We've got a common employer. Temporary employer in our case. This is a gigantic compound. The NCR sure have a big operation around these parts. Evening. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Really? You were expecting more gambling guarding the entrance to... Okay. They don't make them very bright out in California, though. Good evening. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Well, I did kill one, but I'm guessing that you're having trouble with them. Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Maybe, if they're anything like the one we've met. They're certainly better dead than living. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we get lucky out here. Maybe you take these guys out. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's driver Nephi. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. Sounds... And finally, Cook Cook. Brutal. Cook Cook loves using his flamethrower on his victims. Usually after he rapes them. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common vacant Sounds trash. Lovely. They've all killed good NCR men. You go after them, any of them. You're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one's it gonna be? Well, really not sure which would be best. But, in any case... <sighs> I think a golf club would be an easier appetizer than, uh, you know pyromaniac rapists and facing a, an entire pack of dogs with rabies. You've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobitz. He's in charge of Alpha Team. First Recon. Snipers. If you're lucky, you can First lure recon. Nephi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi one on one, but it's your call. I see. Well, I've seen soldiers, but uh, where exactly is this first recon? Well, apart from uh, right behind me. Out in the yard. Gorobitz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nephi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots. No decapitations. Till after they're dead. And no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting. And I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you. And don't get careless. I try not to. Anything else you can tell me about these fiends? Pack of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stem, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. 
Okay. Well, they sound lovely. Lovely company. I'll get back to you, Major. Right. Well, hear that, fellas? No shooting in the head. Talking to you, Boone. I'm not sure you can fight the muscle memory of perfection shooting you've got, but try at least. Ah. Target practice. Are you first recon? No. A regular trooper. Are you first? Yes, you have the beret. Hello there. I'm Bitter Root, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? Well, I might have Bitter Root. That's unusual. You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? I really don't. Sorry. It's a con name. You know, the great cons? Ah, yes. That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. You said your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right if you ask me. Bitter Springs. I've heard about it. I don't know exactly what went on there. It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. How did you make it out? Make out of it? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. The truth is, I don't know. Just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Well, he seems like a hard ass, but fair. You really mean that about your parents? Don't I? Beg pardon, ma'am, but you never met my parents. My I dad did not. He got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR, and not just soldiers, civilians too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. Well... Not a happy childhood. But why would you name yourself after, after that? Bitter Springs, I mean. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons of Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beatdown. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever won. Not sure what to say, Sergeant. But you've made something out of your life. All right then. Have a good day. Yeah, that's probably best. Alright, goodbye.
Boy. Well, I can now see why you didn't want to say much all this time. We might have a conversation about that later. So, first recon. He said, uh, Gorbets, Gorbets. I see lots of first recon, but, uh, which one is Lieutenant? Uh, let's see at the insignia. If I get them right. Is that Lieutenant? I'm Lieutenant Gorobitz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. I'm not, but... Well, is it usually how this works? Bounties? Or is it more just a one-time thing for these three particular fiends? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Interesting. Even if it means hiring help from the outside. Alright, so pragmatic. Above everything else. What can you tell me about First Recon? Boone is not too forthcoming. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though. Like Betsy and Sterling. Betsy and Sterling? What happened to Betsy? Cook Cook. One of the fiends ambushed her in ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone in First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I could try to help. I'd appreciate it. As her commanding officer, I could order her to get help. But I want her to agree with the idea. And Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that. But his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. Well, less uh, ranging about and more... Shooting. Again, pragmatic. I can admire that. Major Daughtry said uh, you were out for uh, shooting Driver Nefi. Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. What can you tell me about this guy? Not enough. We've been trying to put a bullet in him for weeks. He's strong as a Brahmin bull, and he's fast. Seems like he usually runs with a gang of fiends, uses them for cover. We haven't been able to get a clean shot at him. Betsy swears she's hit him. Twice. But if she's right, it didn't seem to slow him down. Hmm. Well, built as an ox, you said. And just how good is your squad? I mean, the best, but how good? I've been sniping since I was old enough to walk. A lot of us sharpshooters get recruited off the farms and ranches out west comes natural to us. As for my squad, they're the best we have. My word on that. They're all hand-picked, and I won't work with anybody who isn't up to snuff. Ten of Spades is the greenest of the bunch, but he's a farm boy, like me. Shooting's in his blood. Yeah, I bet you can get some good womp rats with a speeder. Well, I'm not looking to shoot anyone just yet. Might need your help. Perhaps. We're at your service if you need us, until Driver Nephi is dead. Major's orders. Nephi? Well, I thought it was Nephi. Nephi it is. Carry on. Thank you, Lieutenant, even though you are not my commanding officer. Ten of spades? Are you Betsy? You seem fit. Hey girl, you need something from me? Well... Corporal, you are a sniper, correct? What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? The triple combo. Didn't know all snipers wore shades. 
They don't. Only the good ones do. My partner's right. got some potential, so I let him wear those goofy glasses. I tell him they're his training shades. He totally buys it. Truth is, his eyes just suck. Your partner is uh, Ten of Spades. Right there. The little guy. Ten right. of Spades. I like him because he listens. Doesn't shut up the rest of the time, but when I talk, he listens. Also, he doesn't pull any stupid come-ons, like practically every other horndog alpha male on this base. Might be, he's just scared of me, though. I can at least understand why he would be. Snipers do work in pairs, I, uh, I assume, because Boone here also worked with his potter. Yeah, we spot for each other, watch each other's backs. Usually works pretty well, unless you get paired up with an asshole. Thing yeah. is, there's a lot of assholes in the army. I keep hoping they'll pair me up with some hot blonde like you see on those old pinups. Shit, I don't even care if she can shoot straight. Can't have everything. Yeah, kind of wouldn't mind having that as well. Let's see. How about combat? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Yeah, moving east. But, well. I'm guessing fiends aren't that challenging for uh, an outfit like yourself. And tennis spades and uh, guru bets and whatnot. Legion fights to win. And they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Really? Well. That's a refreshing... approach to things out here. You don't hear about conscience all that often. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. Yeah, you seem quite, uh... focused on that. And Lieutenant is worried that it has a connection to your recent trauma. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Yeah. Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Well, okay. Let's uh, talk to Ten of Speeds. Yeah, try not to get killed. Hello there. Hey there, miss. T Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your s service. I'm trying to get uh, Corporal Betsy to get some help. Any ideas? You should know her. Oh, because b because of what the fuck Cook, Cook did? Well, it, it's n not the same thing, but the, the Daku Sinagi helped me with my the stuttering. You should talk to Bitter Bitterroot too. He's been to see the doc. Okay, thanks. And that, no problem. Are you um all right? I mean that's stuttering. Oh yeah, F fine. Just a little st st the stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from ki kicking ass. I'm sure it doesn't. The damn right. And but what about your name? It's a bit of unusual, Tennis Spades. The LT Gorobets gave it to me. See, I uh, wanted to be Ace of Spades, but the LT says, "Sorry, kid, you're too too, too green." So he calls me Ten instead. Ah, it's we'll okay, get though. up the ranks. I get a few more k uh, k kills under my belt. He'll move me up to Jack. Jack of Spades. Sounds better, right? It I would. Keep at it. Eventually, I'll make it an ace. I think I'll skip queen, though. <laughs> yeah. Good thinking. You've been uh, shooting long. 
The lieutenant said you're a farm boy. Shit. Long as I can re remember. Had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot in our ranch. Way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f farm kid, too. I see. Well... Thank you for the information on Corporal Betsy. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'll si si see you around. Corporal Sterling. Howdy. Name's Sterling. First recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Yeah, Lieutenant tells me you're a ranger, so... I believe you would remember anything you've seen. Got a good memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. It's a mighty fine-looking rifle you've got there. I called her the Lone Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope. I did that myself. Been shooting with her so long. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers use bolt action. But Gorbet says it doesn't matter. Just as long as I could hit my targets. Yeah, whatever gets the job done. I agree. Say, any ideas on how I could convince Corporal Betsy to get some help? It's a pride thing with her. And totally unnecessary. I mean, look at me. I was Ranger Sterling. Until the Legion got through with me, I was bitter. But if I'd kept my mouth shut, the NCR would have discharged me and sent me home. Instead, I asked if there was still a place for me. I had to prove I could still handle a gun alongside all the recruits. And I did. I'm first recon, and still going strong. You tell Betsy that. Yeah, there's always a second chance. How long have you been with uh, First Recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east. Back before we took the dam. Ah, back before the battle. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land. Checked out the locals. And kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple of friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers aren't here anymore. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Yeah, I've seen whatever remains there are up at Boulder City. Not a pretty sight. So you left the rangers because of torture, if I'm not mistaken. Lieutenant Corbett says something about you getting captured. Well, that really wasn't a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionnaires up near Malpay. They beat me when they first took me. Wanted me to talk. One of the legion soldiers grabbed a knife, held it under the fire, cut through my fingers. One by one. I kept screaming. Told him I didn't know anything. Then he moved to my feet. Cutting between the bone, telling me he didn't want me to run. I thought that was it. But I'm here. I know I can't shoot, and I can't trek like I used to. But I'm coming back for them. You keep going strong, Corporal. How did you escape? They didn't bother tying me up. Figure I couldn't leave. <laughs> I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Roll right down an embankment into the Colorado. Guess I had a mind to drown. Rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. A couple of rangers happened to be there. They were watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. <laughs> I called a lucky break. Well, you called that lucky. You're one... Tough son of a bitch. How long have you been stationed here at uh, McCarran? 
Going on six months now. But I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Well, Lieutenant Gorobets has told me you've been out gunning for Driver Nephi and Major Dutry. Seems quite concerned with the fiends as well. Thank you, Corporal, for uh, all that uh, info. See ya. Carry on. Now, where did Bitterroot? Ah, right here. No, that's Gorbets. Where's Bitterroot? There you are. Didn't think you'd be back. What's this about? Well, I'm trying to help uh, Corporal Betsy. Lieutenant tells me you went to Dr. Usanagi yourself. Lieutenant Spades really ought to keep his mouth shut, but he's right. Ah, Lieutenant Spades, yes. There are a lot of things in my past I just couldn't leave behind. It helped. A little. Well, more than a little. Betsy ought to pay a visit to Usanagi since it can't hurt none. All right. Well. All right. That's something. Bye. Let's see if we can uh, get Corporal Betsy to do something. Maybe if we're more convincing. Let's see. Hey, girl. You need something from me? Hello, Corporal Betsy. You know... All the rest of the squad agree that um, you might need some help. And most of all, Betsy, you know that even though trauma can be not physical, just mental, it's still trauma. And that can affect you. You can be a weaker link in the squad than you were before. It'll affect the squad first recon, not just yourself. You need to do something about this. Damn. Never had you pay for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Very well. The rest of the squad agrees, by the way. This was none of their business. Or yours. You've got no right to talk to people behind my back about this. Tennis Spade said uh, Dr. Rusanagi helped him. He got better? If yeah. he says so. Anyway, Tennis Spades is a good kid. Maybe I ought to listen to him for once. I'm guessing the other two had similar things to say. All right, consider me convinced. I'll go see Usanagi. You can tell the lieutenant that I caved. Good. And thanks. No problem. Yeah, I'll sit, sit, see you around. You too. See you, Ten. Well, so, what were we actually... Oh yes, we need to confirm with Lieutenant Hello. that uh, she is getting help. What can I do for you? Yeah, Corporal is uh, getting help from Dr. Sonai. It's a start. But let's hope she sticks with her treatment as long as it's necessary. I'm afraid she'll ditch Usanagi early if she feels it's taking too long. She won't want to look bad in the eyes of the rest of First Recon. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy's coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. I'll do that. I know where it is. I, uh, I've been there. Carry on. Okay, fella, so... Well... Doing some good at least. Though it's not helping us get any closer to getting our backs covered so we can go into New Vegas 
pretty damn sure we're not gonna get stuck in a trap somewhere. So, where can we find this Dr. Hildern? Kevin McCarran somewhere. Like a big place. This is a very big place. In any case, it's been quite a long journey skulking and talking around the outskirts of New Vegas. So, next time, we're going to talk to this Dr. Hildern and give him this note from Alice McClafferty. See you then.